Okay, I'm getting buffed, but not, not actually. Just me and my flatmates are splitting. We're going our different ways after three years. R.I.P. Instead of actually being stressed out for finding new places in life, I'm just more stressed out like, oh, I've been using all your stuff for the past three years. <laughs> I don't own a lot of the things that I use. Oops. So today I'm making one of the things that I'm losing in the divorce, which is this incense tray. I know, I could buy one, but I need hobbies. I think it's a thing if he owns this and I own the incense. So it's so divorcing of like, you take this, I take that. Do you want these? Do you want that? You know? <laughs> like, it's an actual divorce. But anyway, I've got some clay. I've got an idea. Let's just go make some incense right. Okay, I feel like this is the wildest angle I've ever used. But anyway, this is my plan. Look at him. Look how cute he is. I, I want to do like a daisy. I should have covered it in. And then like, it has a little mouth. And then the incense goes in his little mouth like a cool person. You know? Okay, my plan is I'm gonna make like five balls, six balls, five balls? I think five. And then I'm gonna smush it all together. Okay, just so everyone knows, my qualifications in why I'm making this instead of buying a new one is that I do have the audacity. So I can really just do any craft that tickles my fancy. And this is the current fancy <laughs> second reason of why i think i can make this is look how cute this little candle holder is i made this like earlier this year and i still haven't painted it because i don't finish any projects but look how cute she is she isn't the most stable inside but you know and i'd say maybe third reason is i do technically have a degree in art <laughs> but i feel like that might not count towards this <laughs> i think the degree just gives me the audacity to be like yeah, I can absolutely do anything. I'm qualified. <laughs> okay, can you see what I was talking about? You make the balls and then I'm gonna squash them all and then I'm gonna mix them all together. Okay, while I'm smushing all of this, I have just remembered. Does anyone else ever get stuck in like TikTok thirst traps of like people making things with clay or bread? Do you guys know about the bread people? They're just like, very sexually make things sure make that bread but then i would be stressed to make bread in life now to be like is this a sexual thing or is this just tiktok making my brain weird because i'm just getting this with the clay now where i'm like i'm just smushing everything but do not take this in a sexual way i'm being professional <laughs> Okay, the ball method just straight up isn't working, so I'm gonna smush up little petals and then smush it all together. Because they just keep being ball. And I'm thinking if I make like little teardrops and like smush it all together, everyone will be happy, including me. We'll see though. I was trying to make a thought earlier, but no, the like thirst traps of the clay people on TikTok, I'm now like, is this gonna be a thirst trap? I'm not trying for it to be. I just need to make my divorce incense holder. Like, no. Like, I know I'm not actually an expert clay person, but it's just like, you know, when you do a little craft and it starts looking good and you're like, now, this is just satisfying that I do have the audacity in life. This is the vibes. Oh my God, it's so cute. And if anyone wants to know how my little old day has gone today, I woke up, had a little shower, that was lovely. There used to be two spiders living in our shower, but I think my flatmate dealt with them, thank God. Um, I then just got lost on YouTube and watched a lot of Taylor Swift concert vlogs and I might have cried a bunch to them. So that's great. How, how anyone relate? Like just like TikTok, YouTube, any Taylor Swift content when people are just like loving the concert tears crying all the time just because i'm like so happy for the people because they're so happy and then also taylor swift <laughs> i've grabbed a stick i'm feeling like right there is where you're going to live perfect oh my god when it's on i can be like whoosh, whoosh. anyway i'm gonna let this dry now okay welcome back i think it's been like maybe a week 
but she is all dry. Look how cute she is now. But basically we're back at the warehouse angle and we're gonna paint her. I'm thinking of doing like a little daisy. I don't know, we're gonna see how well, <laughs> how just how well I go. But to start, I'm gonna tape around the center flower because I know me, I'm not clean enough to not get it everywhere. Okay, and like that, she is all taped up, living her life. And now I get to start the fun part, which is painting her, which we will see how this goes, because, oof, I feel like it could be cute. Okay, I feel like right now it's giving egg yolk, which I'm not complaining. I don't know, I feel like maybe I need to change the yellow or something, but it does look cute. And now I'm like, should I have just made an egg? <laughs> okay, I tried to do a lighter yellow and this just, this just absolutely isn't a vibe. <laughs> so I think I might just wait for that to dry. And then <laughs> attempt it again. I'm so sorry, girl. This is not a good look for you. Right, the level of like spooky dooky vibes I'm living in right now is every time I need to like pause to like let things dry and stuff, is I then go watch um, Ghost Hunters on YouTube, just just for the laughs, just for the laughs. But like, I'm in that level of, maybe it should just be October now because my birthday, but also maybe it should just be autumn, spooky little autumn time. I do feel like she's kind of giving clown, but maybe in a cute way. Speaking of clowns, has anyone else seen, oh, I don't even know his name. There's a clown in one piece. But I've just gotten so many thirst traps of him. I know nothing, but now I'm kind of like tempted to watch the One Piece live action just to see the clown, just to see his vibes because the thirst traps have got me. If anyone wants to know, I'm using acrylic paint now in case people want to follow this tutorial. This isn't really a tutorial at all, but if you also make a cute little guy, I want to see, tell me. I feel like the colours throw me off, because wait, if it's not in the sunlight, I'm like, that's cute, but when it hits the sunlight, I'm like, this is just an egg yolk, and I'm not vibing with it, but I don't know, I don't understand light, which colour are you going to be? So sorry for breaking my voice as well. I really just want the cute little autumn vibes, sweaters, and pumpkin spice lattes out, like, how am I not supposed to feel autumn? because the PSL is out. I've not actually had a pumpkin spice. I had, I think a pumpkin cream cold brew, which I'm loving a cold brew. But literally like whenever it's warm, whenever like my phone's like, there's gonna be a heat wave, it's gonna be super warm. My only prep for it is I make like a two liter thing of cold brew. Cause me in the morning, I'm like, I don't wanna deal with a nice coffee. I love a coffee, but I don't wanna deal with like all the components of a nice coffee. So I make a cold brew and make like, a simple syrup of some kind and then smush it in add your milk it's perfect it's frozen it's cold you don't have to deal with anything okay i want to say i feel like her face is all done so now i get a super satisfying moment as i'm peeling all of this and hopefully no yellow has gone through i should have done that closer up <laughs> i want the satisfying stuff <laughs> to myself Ooh, okay. Ooh, I feel like mostly, mostly it's good. I think we're just gonna tape around the yellow and do the same thing, just because it worked surprisingly well. And I don't wanna mess up all the things that I've just done. Cause I know me, I know the vibes. Okay, she's now kinda giving sunflower. But I think I'm just gonna start painting it all white. I don't really know if I'm gonna do anything fun. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going in. I'm going in. Which I know it's already kind of a white colour. I don't know. I just I just wanna paint it. It's kind of more of a grey. It's like uni starts again, but I'm really getting the vibes of like January. New start. Mercury is in retrograde still. But I think that ends soon. I think Mercury and Retrograde end soon, so maybe that's why. But I'm just like, new beginning vibes. It's January. My resolution is to date cute baristas. 
which I wonder if you could add that as a preference while I'm debating it. Because that could be really funny. Like, I'm so sorry, dude. I cannot date you. You are not a barista. Like, no. <laughs> I do feel like that's kind of what people sound like, though, when they have, like, really specific preferences. Like, full-on textbook. They have to be this height, this weight, this thing. It's just like, why? <laughs> I say that, but all I'm asking for is a cute barista to make me a little coffee. To be like, oh, do you want to try this lavender latte? Yes, I do. And it's like, oh, I made it with like a cafetiere. Like, oh, maybe they're also French. Probably not, because where am I going to find a French barista? They're, they're probably out there. Maybe that's like the one who I'm waiting for is my French barista. <laughs> but really, I don't think I'm asking for much. That seems like a chill, chill request. Keep boosters within my age range. Come hit me up. Slide into my DMs. You know, I don't think I've ever slid into a DM. I want to. I see the cute people on TikTok and I'm like, hey, do you want to? Hi. So that's what, that's all I'm asking for in life is for you to smell like coffee all the time and for you to make me coffee and also look like you could be a barista. Like if you popped on a little apron, that could be you. Really simple requests in life. I kind of want to like do some fun little swirly brows. Maybe in like a grey colour. Okay, it's had a moment to dry and I think, I think I might do the swirly things in like this purple. And if it's awful, I can just go back over it. You know, it's fine. Okay, I don't know how well you can see it because it's going to be really faint. But it's like a purple swirly in and then like a swirl. Just some swirly vibes. You know, kind of like, ooh, this is a petal. <laughs> you know, very casual statement. Okay, I think I like the swirls. But now I'm unsure of myself. <laughs> oh no! Okay, the purple is now finished. Hopefully, you can see the vibes. And I'm gonna unwrap this, hopefully. Hopefully it's sealed in. I don't know. I wasn't even stressed about that because I'm just shoving it in everywhere. Oh no. <laughs> so I should have waited longer for it to dry and now I have to fix this. I feel like the main part though, she is fine. It's just if you look on the edges, she's not going to be as clean again. Skinsy, it's nothing to do. I'm a little fine. Okay, she's not perfect because I did mess up down here, but she's fine. She's chilling, and I think all I need to do is wait for this color to dry, and I'm gonna spray some sealant on it so it can stay cute for longer. I don't know where I put that right now. So I'm gonna go find the sealant. We're gonna seal it, and then I'm gonna use it. Like demonstration time. Look at her. Look how cute she is. Hi. Boop. Hey, I did an oopsie and I forgot to film an outro for this one. So goodbye. If you make an incense holder thingy, share it with me because I would love to see it. Um, and yeah, like, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Okay. Bye. <laughs>